and just say, wow, it takes a long time to get things set up off grid when you're traveling that far. So for those of you who missed out on everything, we just came from Tulsa. We've been here about two weeks now here in Idaho. This is the off grid cabin. We tried to buy a homestead there in Oklahoma and my goodness, we still don't have a title on it. So that is still all on hold, but I needed to come back and set up the homestead here, get the watering set up. Our renters decided to buy a house and not our house. It wasn't big enough. And so that's where we are. So this is us setting up the cabin. First thing, getting into Idaho two weeks ago. And yes, I am that far behind on videos. So thanks for coming in and we'll talk to you later. All right, so we've got the hand washing station to take out. That's the first thing. All sorts of things in here need to be tidied, but that's the first thing. So the hardest part about coming in is that because I was so sick when we left last time, I didn't put anything away. Like I did the bare minimum of putting things away. I was so sick. Um, pretty much the girls took care of me the whole flight home. But it means that I don't necessarily remember where everything goes and we have a lot of cleanup to do. Um, I did leave uh, spider traps for Amanda and uh, I'm pretty sure she came in and put them down because there's spider traps on the ground and lots of spiders in them but there's a lot of flies and I just feel like I'm not sure where to start without being able to go into town and get some more supplies so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. All right, so we don't have any propane yet today, and it is Sunday. I'd rather not go purchase it, so probably what we'll do tonight is some biscuits for dinner inside the rocket stove oven. I'm trying to think, do we have anything else? I think that's pretty much it. Do you want to show them how the basket works first? Okay, so you, so I'm gonna first let it down. So you can go like this. You could just shove it off. That's how me and Kai do it, and then it lands wherever you want, so like, if we first let it out from right here, then we swing it over, then it lands wherever we want. Okay, go ahead and put it up, and I'm going to have you set up beds. These are spider traps, and because we are alive, <laughs> we have bugs, and so I'm going to set more of these out.
So it's really nice to just come up and shake things out every day. It's when you leave your bedding and you leave boxes and stuff in one space that you get problems with bugs. And as long as you keep everything tidy and moving and folded up and put up, then there's usually not that big of a problem with it. Usually Paige sleeps downstairs and Kaya and I sleep up here. Paige likes to have a little bit of privacy and Kaya kicks a lot and I will tolerate it but Paige won't. So they end up fighting a lot at night if we try to all sleep up here even though there's plenty of space. So we're gonna get the bed set up. This is what it looks like. And it works really well. It's very comfortable and Kai and I sleep up here and Paige sleeps downstairs so I'll show you Paige's bed. Oh, and I do want to get a railing on this that's taller. I sleep between Kaya and the ledge because she is a child and she would quite likely uh, sleepwalk or do some other kind of rolling so I sleep between her and the edge. And this is Paige's bed, or the couch, whatever you want to call it. And it contains the pebbles for the rocket stove to keep the house warm when the fire's not going. And I have a friend who makes these, and I think she does shippable, but she might just do local. But I'll put the link to her for her number and make sure to let her know that I sent her because she does give me a portion of those sales and it really helps us. Our water that just boiled and I have dinner in the pressure cooker. We're having sweet potatoes for dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash dishes. You're actually on TV. She's such a determined little fella. 